Just get out of the way. I'm so sorry. Must be nice to have yourself around a human buddy, isn't it? What does that matter? Why are you harassing me? Gertrude, you're a bloody silent knight for crying out loud. Try and actin' like one, will ya? You know dang well that the humans ain't the enemy. Now show a little respect. Respect? Are you joking? Listen, my job is to protect the divine priest at any cost. If anyone finds out that there's a human oracle here, then what do you think will happen to Lachad? Please, I don't want you to hurt her. Please. It doesn't matter what you want. You need to remember why you are here. Thorshilla, stop Gertrude. You grab Gertrude by the arm. Sienna, run to the temple. Hurry. Let me go right now. I know this is a time of chaos, but if we greet those who come with to us with hate, how will we be any better than the heretics? The child clenches his teeth and runs to the inn. I said let go now! Gertrude pulls herself out of your grasp. Better hurry over to the temple. Gotta run! Wait, first before we make it to the temple... I do the honorary dance. Alright, dance over. Go to the temple! Save her! Hello team! Welcome back to Vindictus. Today we're going to continue the story by talking to Gertrude at the general store about the infection. The infection started on the surface and slowly made its way underground. I didn't expect the infection to make it this far. It's almost like someone's spreading it on purpose. Maybe it started when he was here. That heretic priest dressed in white. He again doesn't have the powers like that. It had to be the priest. And it had happened right after Lagrach left. Ogres have a natural resistance to binding magic. If Logratch had been there, he would have stopped the bastard. Unless it was all a trap. You barely agree that it might have been a trap. Tell me, have you ever been on the run, Zorshila? Always looking over your shoulder, trusting no one. Sometimes heroes fall victim to betrayal and have to act in ways that might not be so heroic. Ah, forget it. I don't even know why I'm telling you all this. I've just had a lot on my mind lately. Anyway, let's go see Kulan. He's an ogre after all. He might be able to tell us more. <clears throat> well, I mean, tell it to Black Hammer. Black Hammer's an ogre. He got controlled. Is Kulan sleeping with his eyes open? Kulan. Kulan! Ah, a customer. How can I help? Oh, it's just you. I have to ask you something. Do you know if Lagrash ever spoke to any converts? How would I know something like that? Don't play dumb with me. You sorry excuses of ogre. Did you... Did that potion turn you into a spineless coward, too? Alright, alright. He may have met with Hexod. He's probably just trying to get his hands on the flawless light shade. The ogres essentially have a monopoly on that herb. You can't go to the surface, so you can only get it from an ogre. You may be able to find it in the hall that was used as a reception chamber. Why didn't he say anything before he left? Why didn't he take me with him? Because <clears throat> if he told you he was going to meet with a convert, you would have called him a traitor. Imagine what that six-eyed idiot would have done if he saw you. Ogres think they're better than everyone. That's just how it is. Hexad wouldn't have agreed to meet anyone else. Do you really... Or do I really have to explain all this to you? I was under the impression that Gremlins were a bit more intuitive than that. Anyway, I'm going to sleep. <clears throat> Alright, let's go do this thing. Complete a moment's notice. Have a conversation after the battle. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah.
the old throat. A moment's notice. Moving to a dungeon. Hold the shift key while left click on your item in inventory to either link that item to the chat window. Use this link function to something or another. I couldn't read the rest of it. I'm gonna say if I just drop, I'll drop. So let's not die. Neat. Can I no, just drop like that? Fair enough. I thought we were going to have to climb down to the surface. Ow, jerk. You have so much life! Um... That chain looks particularly glowy. Do I run up it? No. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're saying maybe something will happen. Oh, okay. Climb up this. Gotcha, gotcha. What? Hmm. If you get close enough, will you drop down? No, nope, you'll just die. I don't even know what happened. I don't understand. He <laughs> just died. What are you doing, you weirdo? Okay, you are trying to get him on there. There we go. Shaking a lot. What's shaking? I don't like that you're shaking. Hmm. Okay, well. <laughs> I'll take it. <clears throat> Sometimes you just gotta... Let what happens happen. Go with the flow and all that. I survived! I survived an instant kill. Lucky me. Alright, you go first. I don't need to do it that. <clears throat> Oops. That actually really hurts. I'm gonna try to make that distance. Is this moving fast? No. <clears throat> now I gotta get close. Hit this switch. Then I hit. Um. Oh, I don't know why I was having problems. Hit this switch. I didn't reach. Try again. Okay. Guess I'm gonna have to. I don't wanna get hit because I know exactly what's gonna happen. And then you go over there. And then I hit you again. And then it goes back around. Best character. Because I could just kind of ignore a lot of back and forth here. Also, I did not know I could life flare that instant for my draw. I was very lucky on my part. Gotcha. And then I climb up here. Ah, chain up for a reason. 
fire. And then I grab. Okay, that's cool. I wasn't sure I could actually do that. I remember failing to grab that one thing twice. That's the torture chamber part, so I assume that maybe I could. And it looked like that could be the point of that swing in the first place. Turns out I was right. That's pretty sweet. <clears throat> I didn't explode. Okay, let's go. Yeah. What are you guys doing? Against the wall. You just teleported up there, I think. Which way do I go from here? I go this way. I remember what I'm doing. I have a good concept. Spin to win. I gotta deal with you guys. It's apparently not nearly as bad as I thought it was. You're mine! Punk. Touch this. And hit you with everything I've got. I don't know where this guy's going. He's dancing in the corner with a spear. Alright, now we fight the ogre Hexod. It's already more important than Black Hammer. Oh, jerk. Okay, so he's got three hit with an unguard one with Larry. Ow. I can't bother with that in that. Hit him with the fire! This guy alone could probably take your car pretty easily. Well, maybe not. He's a little slow. Explosion! Take the spear to the knee. Now you can no longer be an adventurer. Spear is like an arrow for ogre, right? Boom, boom. Oh, you're doing something new now. Is that lightning? Ooh. You have a neat looking weapon. Oh, never mind, you died. That was cool though. Good, good on you. Good job, you. Where's this hammer at? Let me see if I can pick it up. Hammer, where'd you go? I can't find it. Darn. I kind of wanted to see if I could pick up the hammer. Well, that was way faster than I expected it to be. Then again, the dragon transformation is kind of ridiculous, so. Like most characters don't have that kind of power. Hmm? A Namidian? Didn't think your lot was still around. Heh. <laughs> no matter, if you're looking for Logrock, I'm afraid you're too late. Too late for what? Ugh. Logrock! No, don't come any closer, Gertrude. Damn you, Hexod. 
I trusted you. Your fate was sealed when you chose to trust me. I follow Chiakul. To the end of the world. He laughs maniacally. Oh, really? Well, I'm actually working directly under him. Lagrak! You fool! How could you come here without telling me? <laughs> I know what you're like. It would have taken too long to persuade you. The infection is starting to cause blisters. Hang on, Lorgalock. Lorgalock. The potion will slow the infection. Hurry, Zorshila. When you get to the general store, get the potion. I butchered his name even more than I normally do. Lorgalock. Lorgalock. I can't even remember how I was pronouncing it. Oh crap. <laughs> Return to town. Run into a glitch? Run into a glitch. Rima! Gertrude, what happened? Is Lorgrach Lord Lord alive? The potion you were drinking. Where is it? Chirp. We don't have time for this, Rema. Now spit it out. Now! Rema hiccups. Chirp, chirp. The ceiling in the second floor of the inn. Got it. Let's go. Trip, trip. I don't know why it's fun to say. Oh, Zorshilla and... Stay behind me, Sienna. Okay, okay. I'm not going to hurt you, so stop making a fuss. Now please get out of the way. Gertrude pokes every inch of the ceiling until she discovers a loose panel. Found it! A hole. I would have fixed it if I knew about it. There's no time to waste. Let's go. So, you're still alive. I'm not that easy to kill. And there's a human headed this way. A human? Who is it? Is it someone you know? No. I don't. It'll all get more complicated once Lorgrok regains consciousness. Ogres who haven't converted are as dangerous as it gets. Send a priest to help put an end to his suffering. If only Lorgrok could take care of the humans for us too. Very well. Just tell me one thing. Why are you all doing this? I believe you promised not to, not to ask questions, didn't you? wonder who that is. Look, look. <laughs> I don't know why, I just really enjoy his name. It's a fun name to say. Look, look. Even if I'm horribly, horribly mispronouncing. Let's go help Lorgrimok. Wait, no. No, no, no. Not yet. I need health potions. Uh, where to find health potion plate? Is there anything in here that's worth? What is bright water for? Welcome to spring. Oh, okay, I kind of need one of these. At least a few of these. Uh, this. Just use it. Drink this thing. Except. Perfect legendary shard. You're not even. You're not even legendary. Legendary. Um. Magic powder. Blessed magic powder. Bright water. What is this? No. Nope. Should probably grab all the bright water it'll allow me to have. Bright water, bright water, bright water. Alright, I think that's everything. I can't find any more. Um in Kulin. I think Kulin has a general store. I need HP potions because uh no, no HP potions here. Might actually have to go back to Culhan. Wait, no. The general store is bound to not have anything. Um, Gertrude, do you have anything? No. I highly doubt the forge will have things. What is this bell tower about? You know what? I haven't been here yet. Let's see what's up top. Silence is deafening. Apparently it's real quiet up here. Okay, let's go back down. I thought that'd be something interesting. I was wrong. I was very wrong. Colhan. This is a shop if you want to go to Colhan. Yeah, let's go to Colhan. Go. You're on your way to Colhan. Because I need health potions. I also might as well uh, repair my gear. 
while I'm there. It's a good idea. At least in my opinion. Repair the gear, yes. Trade. Gold shop, I need some 300 or so health potions. There we go. Might as well check if there's a bath available as well. There is a bath available. Okay. You move the thing out of my face. Blocks. Uh, there we go. That lag. Yeah. This hair is massive. She's too shiny! Actually, this is a good example of the, uh... Yeah. It's a good example of the... Riley oil that I was telling you guys about. Right there. I think that's what it does. It allows you to make yourself shiny. I assume this person, like, maxed out the shininess. And that's why they're so shiny. I assume that's the case. Um... Oh, yeah. Since I'm doing random things before I continue, let's change my hair to green. Because why not? I can. For now. It's a limited time thing. But I figure I might as well, since I don't have this forever. Unlimited green hair. Yeah. I wish I knew that like this hair was going to be a thing, because I probably would have grabbed this one in green before, but I can't do that now because, like, technically this one isn't forever. I used one of the, uh, coupons for a forever one for the pigtails. I think those are pigtails. Yeah. Which, they don't look that bad either, so... I'm kind of okay with it. But at the same time, it's like, oh, this one's really neat, too. Would have been nice to know that I could do this, because this one kind of goes well with this set. At least in my opinion. It's green, and it's kind of, like, bluish green. Now we go and deal with Logrock. Logrosh. 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 Something like that. One of those is right. <laughs> Or maybe not. One of those I believe is right. Until I actually hear his name being spoken. This was a uh, battle that was really hard for me, I think. Back when I did this with Delia. This is the one I was looking forward to for a while, so. Hopefully, this fight's actually difficult. It would be a shame to be. Disappointed. Weird magician mind. Find this. So that one just does fall. I guess I'm supposed to jump on the chain and then climb down. Like this. Drop. Yeah, that, that was pretty neat. It was hilarious when I stepped on it, it just fell underneath me. I didn't expect it. I don't remember every little detail about this place. I just remember it a little bits and pieces due to story relevance. Because I actually enjoy story mode. So I'm willing to say that most games are more entertaining just because of the story. And the more story and content a game has, the better it is. Even though I know that isn't always true, it feels true. Sometimes stories can just be outright stupid. But I just kind of enjoy whatever, pretty much. Why, was, why is this even a path? I can't go anywhere here. Unless there's something I'm missing... I'm 
hearing goblin noises. Goblin over here? Oh. Oh, that's where I came from. Got it. That's why I was a path. Because I have, like, literally the best sense of direction ever. things again. We got it. We're gonna do it. Yeah, I guess that's it. Okay, so that was kinda pointless. all of them. Actually, I should probably grab that. Items at this point in the game are actually generally worth something. Then again, this specifically is not. Your party is moving to the next stage. The old clock. In the background. This looks new. I think. Yeah. That looks very weird. Very weird. Infection things. Blocks. Um, I go this way. Okay, yeah, I do go this way. Oh, this is weird. I forgot about this. It's so floaty. Oh, you're uh, a knight. Why are you so big? I don't think the knights in Rochester are that big. They're bigger than I expected. You're a knight? I have, seriously, what is it the size? Hmm. Oh, you guys stabbed him too. But you got stabbed as well. Wait, wait, I gotta get a picture. Nope. Never mind. This is grim. <laughs> oh, whoa, I almost jumped off the cliff. Yeah. Hmm. That's death. This being a really hard fight, so he's 
really gooey. Oh yeah, he breaks off the stage too. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. I don't like it though. Thankfully, Miri is surprisingly hilarious. Ow. Okay, let's just go Dragon. Let's start this off as strongly as I can. This is actually a very difficult fight. Debuff he put on me. But as long as it didn't kill me, I guess it's fine. Okay, he's doing a thing, and I don't know what the thing is. Uh, uh. Oh, he's pushing me off. Okay, let's just stop, whatever. No? Okay. What happened? So the key is to make sure he doesn't push you off. <laughs> as obvious as that is. This whole point was to push you off at that moment. I got it. He's also doing a really weird thing right now. I don't know what he's doing. I just know it hurts. Nope! Back it up, back it up. I remember that hurts. I can't guard that. Oh no, he's breaking this place apart. I remember you. I remember your game. Hit him hard with this. He might actually trans for this. Or maybe not if he just keeps doing that. to a place where there's a cliff behind me, or not behind me, but there's no cliff behind me. Oh, maybe that almost killed me. Just transform, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Good, good. Yeah, that fight was just as difficult as I remembered. Only slightly less so because I'm so well geared now. What are those heretic priests doing out there? Damn it. If I only had come sooner. Lograk, wake up. Give this to Rima. Lagrash pulls a brightly glowing light shade. It remains unscathed even after such an intense battle. But this is... Why didn't you take it? There is only one left. Not enough to stop the infection. All it would have done was give me a few more days. 
It all just seemed pointless. You said that you were going to gather all the survivors and build an army. Why? Why are you breaking your promise? There is no hope for me. We must focus on the future. With this, Rima should be safe. And that's all that matters. And because of you, stranger, I can die as a person I am, rather than the monster I became. Think. You. Lagrach stops breathing. Yeah. My character has a tendency to use excessive force sometimes. I feel like at some point, like, I can probably just tie someone down. <laughs> I have some really powerful, like, fire dragon abilities and a chain, so... Eh? What happened? Ah, I see. It's too late then. Hang on a sec. Take this to Rema. So am I just giving them Bryn? The potion? You better not complain about drinking the potion this time. I'm so sick of this human body. Oh, you're here. Oh hey, so where is... Logrock? Her head slumps down. It can't be. Oh, Lorgrach. Lorgrach. Forgive me, you. You. Rema tucks the potion away. It's okay, sis. You don't have to drink it right now. I just... This belonged to Lorgrach. I need to be alone. Rema runs inside, tears in her eyes. Poor Rema. She isn't handling this too well. She just needs some time to grieve. Lorgalak was like a father to us, you know? Always called us little troublemakers. In any case, thank you for helping out, Rema. I'll return the favor someday. Gremlins never forget kindness. Oh, Lorgalak. Lorgalak. I don't know how to pronounce the name, and I understand that I'm saying it's so wrong. <laughs> Like I'm saying it, I'm just like, argh. How the bloody hell did this infection start? What could be the source? Savior, please watch over us. Macklin lost in thought. Is. Gertrude told me the news. And she apologized to me for her before. So don't lose hope just yet. None of this was supposed to happen. I just realized you never signed my guest book. Sign it now, please. You open the guest book, find a single entry. Oh, I see you had another customer. Keen. I feel like I've heard that name. And such elegant handwriting. Only nobles write like that. Now where have I heard that name before? Oh, I know. Remember when we first met at the inn? Wasn't there someone else? Hmm? Oh, yes. Him. Didn't I already mention him? He was our first customer. You're the second. I remember he had brown hair. He was all bruised up. After I treated his injuries, he just up and left. And yet, he still remembered to write an entry in the guest book. How very thoughtful. But when I asked him which inn was his favorite, he said it was the White Whale Inn. Ever heard of it? I haven't, but that's a lovely name. Is it? <laughs> what is a whale, anyway? I've never seen one before, but I've heard they're enormous. If I ever reach the surface, I'll build an inn on a whale's back. Or maybe I'll build an inn out of ice. Yes, ice sounds way better. I'll call it the Icy Inn. I can see it already. Glenn is in his own world. The Icy Inn. I like that name. Can I be your first customer? Glenn completely ignores Sienna. She smiles and writes her name in the guest book below Keen's. Just ignore him. Who? Me? Not you. Him. Me? No. Oh my god! Stop all of you! A good man is dead. So enough of this nonsense. 
Lord Black died doing what he loved. We can only aspire to do the same. Oh, Kulen, you're ridiculous. It's do what you love, not die doing what you love. Big difference. That reminds me. When Gertrude barged in that one time, you called me by my, my name. That was really nice. So why'd you stop? Can you just call me Sienna from now on? No. Never. Sienna continues to pester Kulen. Kulen continues to be a weirdo. I guess that's my impression of him. She has an interesting way of cheering people up. I must say, it was a shock when we first discovered the Oracle. And I definitely didn't expect the army to pull out of the prairie. What are they trying to do? What's their leader planning? You asked Gertrude how she knew where Sienna was. I found a note saying someone dressed like an Oracle was hiding in the attic. Not sure why you're asking. Anyway, our adventure together ends here. I won't forget my debt to you, Zorshilla. How are things? I'm doing my best, but I haven't made much progress. The entry card. Who? Me? Give me the entry card. I'll find it myself. I completed the Paradise Crossing, Episode 2. Blight of the Unseen. And I got an Abomination reward box. I don't think I've actually fought the Abomination yet. But I'll take it! Hand on this. Abomination reward box. What's inside the Abomination box? That didn't slip off the tongue too well. I'm going to Triumph Metals. Stuff. Seals. I do like the Triumph Medals. It would be nice if they swapped those letters or, or those numbers around. Because I really need to get a werewolf paw for this character, eventually. Was that always here? Try talking to Toothall. Mysterious figure. Are you Toothall? No? No, yeah, you are. Toothall! Toothall. Toothall remains silent. Okay, we'll go to Jorman. Hey, do you guys see that ghost that came from the desert? Something odd near the town square, eh? I have no idea what it could be, but I'll check it out. Jordan pokes her head out of the forge and takes a look at the town square. There's nothing there. You sure you weren't seeing things? You're probably just exhausted and it's messing with your head. <sighs> Humans are so fragile. <laughs> Come on, kiddo. Four more is need rest, too. Pretty sure there's a ghost here. I just double checked. No, I haven't seen anything weird. Remo hasn't said anything either. Unless she's keeping something from us. I'm not keeping anything from you. Why would I do that? Nice try, liar. I'm not a liar. I don't care what you think, Gertrude. You believe me, don't you? I do. Um, well, I hate you guys. This might take a while. Try asking elsewhere. Okay. Kulen, Sienna, and Lichard are all drinking tea together. They seem to be having a pleasant time. Something odd outside. No, I don't really go outside. Perhaps you humans saw something. You're observant and whatnot. No, I don't see anything. Neither did I. Do Nemedians count as humans? Maybe you should come back later. Okay, let's go talk to the Grim Reaper. Also, what's this guy doing? Impertency! Hmm. He looks pretty awesome, actually. Go get him, Impertency. What are you? Did Chickle send you? This is the path to fulfillment. It is not your time yet, hero. You must learn more about the source. Toothall remains silent. Well, tell me what the source is and maybe I will learn. It's pretty, uh, obvious. 
Answer. The source of the infection. I only brought it up for a second. You got some good ears. Ha ha ha. <laughs> anyway, I'm certain the infection's got a source. I mean, where's it coming from? The thing is spreading all over the place, except it ain't spreading down below where the lava flows. That's why I think it's got to be the source. However, however, there's no way for me to prove it. We could still travel freely to the surface. Lord Rock and I searched for the source ourselves. We found places where loads of old folk were infected, but never found the source. It's like it came out of nowhere. <clears throat> All right. And the ghost couldn't tell me this or specify this. You are not ready. If you still wish to go, Hero, you must find a reason. Redeemer shop. Go to Lachad. If Lachad is not in his place, you can talk to him in the Burge General Store. Where the heck is Lachad at? Oh no, I know where Lachad's at. I remember where you went. <clears throat> You're in the temple. Lachad! Yes, I do remember Macklin talking about the source of the infection. But a reason to find the source? I suppose that would have to be hope. Hope that will be able to rid ourselves of this infection once and for all. But I don't know how much hope this would help this place. They don't even have hope for their own future. I still find myself dreaming of a hero to come and save us all. If only I could be that hero. Okay. I have no idea who Snowbutt is. Weird. Sounds like a snow butt. Hope. <laughs> I'll let you in on something, Zorshella. There's no hope for us. But for you, there's hope. Humans ain't affected by the infection. Maybe the gods just prefer humans to formers. But the savior hasn't awoken yet. And the glass tower, and him. Why are you asking me about Macklin? You think I'd tell you something that he wouldn't? Besides, I don't know anything. Not a damn thing. The glass tower? The glass tower? I know that's where Macklin's from. Never heard of it. Jeez, even kids this day know about the glass tower. I mean, it is a holy place and all. And don't go asking me what a holy place is. I just heard all this from Macklin. But if you want to know more, Jordan is starting to look annoyed, you should leave. Ask Kulin. He's all fancy and hoity-toity. He's bound to know something. I don't even know what that means. Why do you continue to disturb me? All I want to do right now is laundry. You heard me. I love doing laundry. One of the perks of running an inn. Is it true that the sun-dried laundry smells better? Sure, why not? How do you know? Probably at the end of Culhan. That place always smelled like the sun. Is that weird? Why would that be weird? Well, have you ever smelled the sun? What does the sm sun even smell like? But the sheets at the inn were always clean and smelled really nice. Hmm, I see. Oh, I'm sorry, what were you asking about again? The glass tower. The glass tower? That's where the savior resides. Or rather, where the savior will reside when paradise comes. Ogres are the only ones allowed to guard the door. I was chosen, but I declined. It's supposed to be a huge honor. And everyone said I was crazy for turning it down, but I couldn't care less. Why'd you turn it down? It was way up north. The tower is actually made of ice, not glass. 
It just looks like glass because the ice is so glossy. Or at least that's what he told me. I think he was a librarian there. Macklin? Yeah. Everyone was furious that some half-blood was working the librarian, even when the ogres couldn't. But I don't understand what all the fuss is about. Who would want an ogre as a librarian? The library would be destroyed in a single day. Anyway, is that all you wanted to know? For now. You should be paying me for these answers. Sure. <laughs> I'll give you some gold for it. Macklin? Did he tell you everything? That idiot. Actually, no, it's alright. I was hoping you'd find out. It's true, I'm from the glass tower. I just sort of woke up one day. I saw a dark red ocean. And it was like I relearned everything I ever knew all at once. No one told me, but I knew that ocean was the source of something evil. When I left the tower, there was nothing but a cruel sea. I thought the savior had come, but I was just lying to myself. The truth is, this tower ain't much longer. The infection's coming and no one's safe. Hmm. Also, this guy's talking about an icy inn. Icy palace, icy inn. Eh, eh. Wait, what do you got now? Stare into the rift by sacrificing those who've succumbed to the infection. Okay. Oh no, I gotta go this way. Actually, I'm going to leave this one here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, it would be pretty awesome if you'd comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Good night. Say some thanks.